Oh, you mean business today. Yeah, girl, it's just going straight in. Ready? Hello and welcome to The View's Kitchen. On today's recipe, we're gonna be making bambasos. But first, we have to go over the ingredients. For the sauce, you're gonna need some guajillo chilies. Make sure to remove the stems and the seeds. Garlic, onion, chicken broth. For the filling, you're gonna need some chorizo and a potato. You can also make this recipe with just potato. For your bread, you wanna choose a bread that has a soft exterior. A lot of people here in the States use bolillo bread. Today I'm gonna to be using telera because it's as close as you can get to pambaso bread. And pambaso bread is not so easy to come by here in the States. So if you're trying to choose a bread and you don't have bolillo or telera, use something that has a softer exterior but has a good support in the inside. And by support, I mean that it's, it's a good thickness. Let me show you. Oh, I see that. So more okay. of a thicker bread. Okay, you wanna slice it. There's different ways you can slice it, but I find that this way is the easiest for me. Mm -hmm. And I don't cut it all the way, just enough so that we can fill. Oh, okay. You wanna boil your chile, your garlic, and your onion until it's nice and soft. So anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, you're gonna get a super soft chili and a super soft onion. I've also cubed our potatoes and I boiled them for 12 minutes and they're nice and soft. All we have to do is strain. Add your chicken broth. And now we're gonna blend until smooth. If you do not have a Vitamix blender, make sure that you're straining your chile. You want this sauce to be nice and smooth. Using the Vitamix, I blended our sauce ingredients at the max speed. I started slowly and I left at the max speed for two minutes to keep a nice and smooth little paste looking sauce. We want it to be thick. We don't want this to be runny. Okay, make sure that this sauce is not runny. Now I'm gonna transfer this into a bowl. After you transfer your chili sauce into a bowl, make sure to place it into the refrigerator while we cook our chorizo and our potatoes. Set your pan on a medium heat and add your chorizo. We're gonna to continue to cook our chorizo for another six minutes. After six minutes, your chorizo is almost fully cooked and that's when you're gonna add your potatoes. I place my pan on a low heat and I'm gonna start mashing the potatoes into the chorizo. Ooh, 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 who's excited? Let me know in the comments. Do I have to comment or can I tell you right now? You can tell me right now, girl. I am really excited. If you cut your potatoes into small cubes and boil it, it's way faster than boiling a whole potato. And it's done in about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the cut. And you get nice and soft potatoes. You saw how quick they got mashed. Isn't that a dream? I stand here as a witness. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeeze. That's right, girl, that's right. And once you're done combining all your ingredients, you're just gonna Season it with a little bit of salt to taste, okay? Just a little. You guys ready for some action? Ready. Let's do it. Our sauce is nice and cooled. Now it's time to slather it on this bread. You can use a spoon, your brush, your hands, and you're gonna brush it gently over the top. Do you know when you put cold butter on a piece of bread, how mm -hmm. it's just cold? Yes. That's what we're doing here. We would have put the sauce hot. Mm -hmm. You know what would happen? Uh, steam up your bread. You would steam up your bread and that's not what we want to do. We want to fry this delicious bread. Oh, so that's why you did the cuts before adding the sauce. Correct. You want to cut it before you add the sauce. You want to make sure that your, your sauce is nice and cool. And if you're rushing, you can put it in the freezer for a little bit, mix it around, or you can put it in your refrigerator and let it cool up. It's gonna be, it's all gonna depend on how much time you have, really. Okay. But since this is an antojito, it's a quick little snack. Just make sure your sauce is cool. Just like you, Views Club, just like you. Nice and cool. Crazy, sexy, and cool. Okay, you kicked it 90s style. <laughs> Kids, you know we're older. 
or should we say mature? No, I don't know if I'm that mature. And guys. older people were younger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This depends on what you're looking at here. <laughs> this is the red light special. Ooh, girl, now I know why you said that. <laughs> Am I missing any little crevice? Looks good. Perfect, and now our bread is not gonna be soggy. Nobody needs a soggy pan. Set your pan on a medium heat and add enough oil to fry your bread. You have to be careful not to have your heat too high or else you're gonna burn your oil. You're gonna burn your bread and that's not what we're looking for. So it's gonna take you anywhere between 30 to 45 seconds if your oil is at the right temperature. After about 30, 45 seconds, you're gonna flip it over and depending on your oil, sometimes some of you might need 20 seconds, some of you might need a little bit more, okay? So what I like to do to help the sides fry up is I lean my bread to the side and allow the sides to fry. Ooh, that one's ready. Open up your bread and fill it in with our chorizo potato filling. This is our original way to fill them. If you feel compelled to use something different, let us know in the comments what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna add some Mexican crema. Lettuce. Your choice of cheese, queso fresco, whatever white cheese you like. That's what you have to go with. I'm gonna add some salsa verde and I'll link our recipe for salsa verde in the description area for you. I'm a fan of cotija. I'm gonna be adding cotija. Cloud, would you like some in yours? No, thank you. Okay, then we're set, friends. You guys ready for a taste? We're ready. Your eyes are so big right now, girl. <laughs> Today. Yeah, girl, it's just going straight in. Ready? Say ah! Well, I got really excited on that. As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Cloud and I absolutely adore you and we're wishing you the best. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios! Okay, when I see that in your hair, I already know. It's, it's business. Well, I eat with my eyes and my belly, so I'm gonna add a little bit more crema. To the top right here. Mm -hmm. That's why you want to hang out in the kitchen. You, you can do. do whatever you want in there. I don't have a napkin near me. We're not mad at that. The bread is nice and crisp on the outside, friends. You see that chili? Mm -mm -mm. Should I be the friend that tells you you have something on the side of your lip? Nope. <laughs> not for this. <laughs> I feel the same way, but I, I figure I'd tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna melt just like this bambaso. Mm. I think it's holiday season. I just wanna eat everything in sight. So if I look a little pudgy in recent weeks, keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Mm. Quick and easy. The outside is crispy, the inside is soft. Oh, you know who you are in the comments. Go ahead and add your comment. We made it for you. We're gonna pin you, honey. Mm-hmm. If it has chili sauce on it, I'm all over it. I know you are. All right, you guys, we're leaving because I'm going to eat mine as well. Mm -hmm. We love you and have a safe rest of your weekend. Oh, my goodness. <laughs>